What's up, everyone? It's oh, I seem to be back at it again. I decided to go with the Proline Electroshock Truggy Tires for the new MP10T. But more importantly, what's in this big yellow case? Stay tuned. For those of you that have been following, you guys know that uh, I've had my first race. It didn't go well at all. Uh, my bevel gear just shredded to pieces in the middle of qualifying. I didn't even finish the qualifying round. But didn't do, did not get discouraged. Put the order in up to A main. Got the new pieces in. We're all fixed, ready to go. And since then, I've added a truggy to the class. These are the decals you see here. This MP10T. Um, but the decals are not going on the truggy. They're actually going on this yellow box. Not all of them, of course. I'm just going to put a few on here amongst other decals. But I'm sure you guys are wondering what's in the yellow box. Well, this goes back for a while. We, we at my uh, local track and some brothers that I respect, we were trying to figure out, you know, if we were going to go out and purchase the ear tech, uh, earphone, ear, listening system uh, for driver and pit man. And uh, we debated back and forth. And my brother, Rajay111, he went out and got him. You hope you guys saw his video. If not, check out his channel. And he picked them up. They work great. Excellent. But for a brother like myself, who's just getting into it, who's not a bona fide racer just yet, and may be some time away from being a bona fide racer, you know, it's going to take some time to get good. The, the guys that I, at my local track are good, man. They're, they're, they're fast. You know, and I'm aspiring to be as fast, if not faster than them. But in the meantime, I'm still going through the learning phase. But so those AirTech earphones are $385 on the best. That, that's the best price I've been able to find. So 400 bucks. So for a newbie or someone that's just getting into racing, maybe you already you were doing bashing and you're just starting to get into racing. It's a different ball game. You know, so you may not want to spend $400, you know, just for racing, you know, seven, eight times a year, okay? And that's totally understandable. I am one of those people. So we talked about, I talked with some of the fellas in the group chat that we have about possibly using the earphone system that motorcycle riders use. And I got vetoed on that. I chose that because it's a hundred bucks or so. You know, you get the system, you put the little pack on and get the little earpiece around there and you're able to wirelessly communicate. I didn't follow through with that because there's some motorcycle riders in there and they were questioning whether or not it would be loud enough would you be able to use it. So I did some more thinking and me being a basketball coach, we don't use these, but my football coaches do. And this is what's in the yellow box. I found an older set of portaphones. These are what the football coaches use on the sideline. Now it's older, you know, it's not the prettiest, it's an older setup, but it functions. It definitely works. You know, put these on over your ear. It even says coach on the side, which works for me because I still am a coach. Can you see that? The light too bright. All right. Mark it up over ear. Again, one way or the other with the microphone, whichever direction you want it to go. You can go right or left, you know, depending on whether you're a right-handed person or a left-handed person. You know, and of course, I had to personalize it. I had to put the name on there. That RC newbie, you know, but I didn't want to leave my pit guy left out. So I put pit man on this one. Should have put pit person, I guess, to be politically correct. Just because my wife decides she wants to pit for me. You know? And uh, they come with rechargeable batteries that are in here. They, uh, the cords here, just plug up the power, the receiver units, plug them in. I've tested them out so far. No issue whatsoever. The good thing about these that I like, I'm not sure how the pit person is going to like them, but it has two ear cups on the pits, the pit man's ear set to help further block out the noise from the, you know, the nitro engines charging up. Uh, I, I loved it. It is working. It's doing what I needed to do. And for someone like myself in the beginning stages of just getting into racing, you know, it, it saved me a ton of money. So opposed to spending the $400, on the, the new ear text one, which again, uh, they are very nice. They're very nice. But like I said, if you're not ready to make that kind of investment into your racing, then something like this is an alternative. It's an older unit, 
does the job. This unit, $70. 70 bucks. You know, does everything I needed to do. This, this clips on your belt, right? You know, you run the wire down. It stretches, of course, you know, no, no issue there. Plug it in on the side, turn the, the unit on, and you're good to go. A little switch here on the side, turn it this way so you can see, you got the talk button. But once you press it, it it's on. It doesn't, you don't have to press it for each time. Hit the light, channel's lock and load, and you're good to go. See the green light come on there, can you see that? Yep, see the green light there, yep. And you're up and running, good to go. Again, not the prettiest, not the smallest, but it functions, you know? And something about my channel, you know, with some do-it-yourself stuff, some videos on how to save yourself some money, this just saved me 330 bucks, you know? Comes with, it came with this case, you know, so if you guys have a, a, a local high school that you, for, you know, got a relationship with, check with them. See if they have an older unit that they're getting rid of. Some of the bigger programs, they're updating their equipment constantly, you know. So this came through. It's the Portaphone. Uh, there's other brands, but this is the brand that I have, Portaphone, who, believe it or not, is now, uh, I believe, I'm, I may not be correct, so don't quote me on this, but I believe EarTech, which is the company that everyone's using now, was Portaphone, you know. So it all works out. It's the RC Newbie, signing out.